Stop making exactly. That nigga exactly. Like, what hey, so... <laughs> what, what Dave Chappelle do? I ain't do it, nigga. Believe me. <laughs> 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 Unless that's what it was. That's he did it, bro. What a great intro, ladies and gentlemen. This is the business. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> hey, What's up? Uh, <laughs> uh, King Mall in the building. Hey, it's Squash, 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 Squash. That's Doc Carter, the best in the game in the building. Hello, Carter. Wow, yeah. Temple God on the board. Go studio. I'm wearing my goat mask around all these white people. They don't know what I ask what it means, but they but they see a goat. <laughs> hey, like a little dumb, little <laughs> money. Who knows, man? Who knows? That's better. We have yeah. special guests on the show. Uh, uh, a friend of the show, uh, uh, a CC member, S100 member, Chris. <laughs> Hey, hey. Uh, it's me. <laughs> um, we're not gonna get so unless you have a um a amendment to your top five. We can just jump into current events. Yeah, we can just jump into current events, bro. That 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 that. The current uh, events, um, Mental health wellness check. How are y'all doing, bros? This is my fucking. This is still <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going crazy like Kanye yet. So this I'm, is I'm still, okay. it's, it's still fucking crazy out here and shit. Doesn't I can't say crazy. Like, I can't say crazy. It's it's still crazy. Right? You just you gotta. If you don't see it, you'd be like, oh yeah, it's not crazy. But this it's is still crazy. crazy. <laughs> I it's, see. It. I see. It. I'm on the social been, media. Yeah. I be seeing it on, on social media too. Like in my real life, it's not crazy. Like everybody seems normal and fine now. But like <laughs> in other places, it'd be it'd be still out of pocket. I'm not gonna front. I'm standing in line for UPS because you only have one person. Bruh. So UPS is the longest line ever now. I don't know. I, mean, I didn't realize that pandemic hmm. make UPS so long. You UPS is Which, the longest. Wait, wait. What do you mean you stand in line for UPS? Like, like where are you standing in line? Like stamps or something? Yeah. yeah like, I just know. went. I just went to the UPS like two days ago. Dropped off a package and it was empty. Well, well what mean, time did you go though? Yeah. Like I don't know, middle of the day. Yeah, that's two, why. Two, three o'clock. That's why See, I went to UPS I, after work. Uh-huh. For like the morning. It was over with. It's a bro. It's a UPS is such a, a, a hustle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking hustle, man. Cause this is it'd be one dude there. Is somebody watching the motherfucking? <laughs> I don't know, man. Is they playing the show, the game, or something on the TV? They can hear you. I'm on the show right now. <laughs> he said, "Who?" <laughs> they can hear you. <laughs> Why do you say that? I thought Doctor Tail. They said, "Put that shit on mute." <laughs> oh my god. Who? <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Moral of the story. Hey, hey, you went to the one on Bishop, right? Um, stop <laughs> Oh yeah, well, dude, dude, that's why. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> well, yeah I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I went to a one that wasn't rocking. It was rocking. That's why I stood in line for it. But long story <laughs> short, like, I saw, I spotted a little old white lady, and, and pre 2020, I'm not worried about uh, it. Now 2020, I'm like, oh fuck, please don't let her be on some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking exactly. at her gangbanger like. Oh, fuck. She, she pops some shit off. She got a mask. She on. walks over, right? 
I saw by her body language, she wasn't trying to have no fucking line type shit. She's oh, looking, yeah. it's 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 me and another person in front of her. She's looking between us to look into the store, like, what's going on here? <laughs> I'm like, yo, I got two packages in my head. I'm like, I am not like it's not like she don't know what we stand in the line for. There's packages in both our heads. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not about to say nothing to this this little white lady, man. I'm about to let her cut me. I'm about to be a pussy. Right? I'm, about to let her, <laughs> I'm about to let her. I'm about to be full bitch, man. I'm let her cut me because I don't want no problems. In front of me, though, probably around 24, 25. God damn, white woman. There's a line, I'm- man. It starts back there, <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> 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 That's yeah, I, I hate know. that shit. I hate when you walk in and people just ignore the whole line. Like, like oh, you see all these people right here. You don't see all these, these 15 people. Yeah, like, bro. We just standing here for our health at this point. Like, no, nah, we were actually waiting for something. <laughs> I was so happy she said something because I wasn't going to. She was going to keep looking at me. And, and I was not trying to have a conversation. Shit. And then, but not only that, she, she got in line and was like, Waited maybe maybe four minutes. Is there anybody in there? I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we standing here for a minute. Nah, <laughs> we out here practicing. <laughs> right. <laughs> just just, just, just the wait for you know, tomorrow. <laughs> Close right now. But <laughs> that's my little anecdote. Like 2020 and shit. That got to me, and that shows me how my mental has changed because of 2020. I'm like, I ain't trying. To Fuck this little white lady. <laughs> I didn't want to have no problems, bro. I just want to be more these, weird. These ain't in my packages. These is work packages. These ain't in my packages. Yeah. Yeah, 2020 has been a roller coaster. Like, made for people look out of pocket, too. I feel like there's a whole lot of lag, yeah, but I'm just saying, it may, yeah, it is making people act a little out of pocket. They're just not used to not being out, stuck in the house to come on out. They'd be like, man, let's go do some stupid thing. What's going on out here? I mean, w- look at Chicago right now. Chicago is is a, a fucking war zone right now. And it's like, is it because niggas was inside for, for 90 days and couldn't, couldn't get to pop how they wanted to pop or? Well, if, if you talk if you talking about the gun violence, the it's usually wait. What? Yeah, what are you talking about? The <laughs> gun violence or the agents? <laughs> the okay. Well, gun violence, the agent shit. I don't. Do people believe it? I believe in it, but some people don't believe in like 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 there these videos of niggas getting legal. snatched. Up. Yes, like, niggas is getting <laughs> snatched off the streets. Okay, mm. I don't know I got, how you don't. Yeah, believe I was thinking that. about that too. Like yeah, like. <laughs> Is it is it really like uh, certain people being targeted, or is it really just like random people who just getting snatched up? Nobody said anything about Portland for the last like three months. <laughs> they just left. Portland. I mean, on a sixty day sixty five though. I've like, been. I got a friend out there. Or fifty something. I got a friend out there, and he's been going to like the the area that they call like the Chad. the autonomous zone. Yeah. yeah. He been going there and just telling us about it in the group chat and stuff. And like constantly it's been something. And then he's like, yeah, they snatching people off the streets. I can't really do that because I also have a job. Like, yeah. And then I started seeing videos of it. And I was like, bro, this I don't I don't see how like people can overlook that if they see it. I don't know how you can overlook that and be like, oh, yeah, we not on bullshit as a country. Like. You snatching, you got unmarked vans snatching civilians <laughs> off the street, not uh, reading them their rights and not saying nothing, pulling guns mm-hmm. on people, and then it, just it, completely dipping violating off. the Constitution. It's probably similar to like people driving through the hood. Like you see it, but thank God you don't got to get out, you know? So, like, <laughs> you see what's going on. But they don't want to stop and help or, or do anything about it. They, they I mean, not like they that. could. Like, uh, I saw a video that. of the damn cops was, um, they jumped out. Like, as soon as they With jumped the out, the cops came out of nowhere. It was yeah. like, yeah, nigga, back up. Like, we taking this person. I'm like, what the And fuck? not only that, 
the people that they snatching up not strapped and the people that snatching up is strapped. So yeah, yeah. you either going to risk getting one to the chest or you going to try and record and make sure you get some kind of footage <laughs> towards you can say something. But then who you going to tell? Because obviously the people that's doing people it are doing supposed it. to be <laughs> they supposed to be the ones that's not that's preventing stuff like this but right they're acing old white men fuck they care about us bruh <laughs> like, fuck right they, in the face he said i'm a navy vet <laughs> bruh guy it's crazy though because like he took that shit like a g and then he kept navy talking vet. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he said that's what he said he took it like a G and wow. kept his word. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody got hit in the face? No, no this is, uh, yeah, oh. dude was getting maced because he was talking about how when he was in Vietnam, they were like killing people for no reason and how what they out here uh, perp- uh, perpetuating was the same thing that they was doing and he knew it's wrong, so they should know it's wrong. And they was like, I don't give a fuck and hit him with it. Right. Yeah. Dead with Bro. the with the, with the carcer, uh, Yeah, it wasn't no. T- no, nah, he that shit the, was uh, the bazooka pepper spray shit. <laughs> Let that wow. tension go for the whole crowd. Like <laughs> this is gonna be a a a year that is going to. I don't even know. Like in history, like like in televised history, have we come to a year like this? Like you got the. The, the like the Cold War, I don't say Cold War, like the, the, the World War One stuff and like the depression and all that. World but this is the depression. That three channels, like the content coming from uh, YouTube. I think the right closest now? we are is, is the Great Depression. Yeah, yeah, it, it's the the repercussions. Oh, it, it, it almost made made me tear up. The uh, I was listening to the Breakfast Club and. She's a white lady in Georgia. She calls up. She says, "Like I'm supporting my black neighbors, my friends, and all that, and I'm putting it on my social medias. And all of a sudden, I'm having a hard time getting a job now. She has a bachelor's degree, ten years of experience in her field, and nobody's hiring her in her town now. And it's not like a they huge her social media." I don't know if it's like uh, 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 he, she didn't sound like it was a huge town. It was like a, like a, like 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 almost everybody knew everybody or like had a big city near it. She said it was right, like right. Uh, twenty minutes outside of Savannah, Georgia. So I, I don't oh know. yeah, Savannah's like north of Atlanta by a little bit. That's where Big Boy is from. That's the only reason why I know that. Okay, <laughs> but so so she calls up there and she says all that and she and she says like. Like she don't know if she's gonna uh, have a car next uh, month or uh, uh, get evicted next month. They're, they're supposed to be mass evictions next month. Like the the wow. the moratorium is over for like mm-hmm. y'all um, like not been, been able to, uh, to pay the bills and shit. And they didn't defer it for like uh, oh yeah you don't have to pay June and July is just gone. They just put it on the back end all together. Yeah. So, you, so now you gotta pay th- three times a couple thousand, <laughs> like in couple one thousand. month, and you haven't been working. And she's like, I don't know what what the fuck I'm about to do, and I don't know if it's it's because of I'm supporting Black Lives Matter, but that's the only difference about me right now is that. I'm <laughs> wow. And she's wow. Like, and she's like, I'm not trying to say that I understand now, but. I get it now, like y'all. Uh, this, this 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 systematic racism is when a they thing. Choo- yeah, when they had to choose a side, now they really getting affected. Yeah, it's funny. And the, it it's was funny. like I got three kids, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. But at least um the uh, the breakfast club she, she, she put her uh she, her cash up out there. So hopefully somebody bless her. Uh, <laughs> some money. That's real. That yeah, shit, man. Like, it's like a million of those stories. Like, thank and God it's I crazy. Work. It's crazy because, like, what I've been talking about this with this uh this girl that I know that's a coder because she stays on top of this, but she lives out in uh, Germany right now. Mm-hmm. So she's been like staying on top of like all of the government stuff because of COVID. Because her family actually lives in Ohio, which is crazy, but. Mm-hmm. Like, 
she sent this thing talking hey, about the no. huh you, you, you know where in ohio i want to say columbus but okay. i'm not sure yeah. but I yeah mean, it's a nice it's, it's a nice place where there's people of affluentness there but yeah she <laughs> sent the stuff and i was like they want to send people back to work. They want to evict people for not paying, but ain't nobody been working. And do they real like? Do they actually understand and realize that if you evict somebody, you're gonna have another issue, and it's gonna raise homelessness. And if you send people back to work to boost the economy right now, nine times out of ten, Everybody those people that it. y'all are sending are gonna die. So you mm -hmm. ain't gonna have no economy to boost later. So I don't know. It seems like they don't or whoever's making these decisions, these people don't realize that like thinking of right now is not beneficial for anyone because you're A, gonna cause harm now and later, and B, you're just elongating the issue at hand. In the big movie of things, you will be like, shit, who is writing this story? This is a terrible story. Like, why are they going on? Like, they're jumping the boat. America was cool for the like the first twenty nineteens, but now that they didn't got a little wild with this, and it, they realize it's true. And he's, and you want to like, who's in charge? And you realize, oh, a reality star is in charge. He disbanded the the, the pandemic team in twenty sixteen as soon as he got in there. Like for what? <laughs> See, but mm -hmm. see, but that makes me think that this is a fucking setup because this is an election year. Mm -hmm. Like he already like, tried uh, to, um, uh, already tried to eliminate it or push it back the November election. And he tried to like, yeah, we ain't even gonna do that this year. <laughs> like, bruh, did y'all see him post the the time cover? And it was basically like the time cover when they were talking about Trump's ideologies have a potential to elongate into the future. But he yeah. took it and flipped it like I'm finna be the president until 2060. And I don't I don't know if y'all have been uh like reading up on fascism or whatever, but it's this girl on Instagram. Her name's Asia E M M M. And she's a historian and she posted a video mm -hmm. about fascism talking about uh how the times like all of the evidence of what created Nazis and the fascism that they had is evident in what we do but they aren't direct parallels of one another so if people don't correlate the actions that are happening now to the actions that happened then we won't notice that like we're slipping into a fascist society and so basically when I, I and yeah pretty much and basically when i seen him post that literally the first thing is like this person tries to run the country as a tyrant and like we slip into tyranny. And when I seen that, I was like, oh, this man really think he finna do this. And if people don't act it's for happening. anything, it's, it's gonna happen. That's the crazy happening. part. And and I think the only saver that we have is Joe Biden, not him, but his running mate is gonna be a black woman. I've heard the Breakfast Club talking to a few black um, uh, women candidates and they all sound pretty chill. It's either Kamala Harris or Black Woman B, who is Black probably Woman B. all now, but she's a senator. She's a congresswoman. Fill in her name. She's she'll pop up on your news circuit. But it's either Kamala or her. And why they call her Black Money? Black? I don't know. Know. He's <laughs> calling her. Name. He's doing that. <laughs> okay, I'm like. <laughs> I, That's mad. I, I had to find out. I'm like, what? <laughs> because there's like four of them that, that have a, a, a good chance of being dominated, but they're all kind of popping up right now. So you can be lost in the thoughts, but remember, it's Kamala and B. But B. if Kamala, if they, if some, if the Republicans or some of the <laughs> Russians, whoever's behind shit, pop up something about Kamala, shit could be out of there very quickly, and they got black women. Being there who's a fresh, clean start and nobody knows about. But that's the only way I feel like he's going to win because we know Biden's going to die or, or do something stupid to get the fuck out of it. Nah, see, I think there's another option that also benefits Joe Biden because mm. 
I was hearing, I don't know if any of this is fact, but I was hearing that a lot of the GOP are trying to like back Kanye. And I don't, I, I, when I first heard Kanye was running, I was hoping it was like some maniacal thing to get Trump out of there. Yeah. But it turned out he was like on some bullshit. But if the GOP backed Kanye, that means the Republican vote could be split, which is a good thing because if, Half the Republican vote is for uh, Trump, half for Kanye, oh, yeah. and then half of the actual votes go to Biden. We might be good. Mm. And I've been hearing a lot of bullshit about Biden and like his history. And I've been like, is, damn, this man actually, this man actually has some some terrible history, and his behaviors aren't the best, <laughs> but. We gotta swallow this pill. Like, it's no, it's no opinions towards <laughs> it. <laughs> Trump gotta get the hell out of there. The lesser of two evils, huh? Yeah, I'm Bruh, say, honestly, you between a a evil history or an evil future. Yeah, and the <laughs> downside like, to that, what? like that's yeah. a a shit bag and a shit burger. It's like, damn, do I want this shit bag <laughs> or burger? This this shit mm. burger. Be a little mm. bit better. Okay. Which one tastes a little better? <laughs> um, we can wow. get out of that because that's a doubt. Uh, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Wow. Hey. Hey. Did the song come out already? Or? At midnight. Mm. Okay. What Video ass- dropping. Um, oh. Do you feel like? That's not dance around it. Did <laughs> did Tory do it? And should they deport him? Uh, should they deport him? Do by they, law, they, can't they? they? Like uh, by law, can't they deport him because yes. he committed a crime? And yeah, so, I there. mean, right if here. if Tory Lanez makes it to the important pile of the, <laughs> the American <laughs> list of shit to deal with, <laughs> he might get deported. He might get I, deported. honestly. Bro, I really, I w- I've never known anything about Tory Lanez until the COVID happened. Cause really? after after a uh, quarantine radio started, I was like, oh shit, this dude's kind of cool. And then mm-hmm. I listened to his music. <laughs> I was like, it's it's tight, I guess. But I fucked with the quarantine radio. He's and then great I heard, at period. Bro, when I heard he like what happened, I was like. Bro, what's going on? This can't be true. Not the person that I seen on quarantine radio. And then especially not the person I seen two weeks ago talking about we gotta uplift our black community. Man. Da, 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 da. And now you allegedly shooting people. Like allegedly women. Mm-hmm. Yo, girl, allegedly though? shooting and women. Allegedly your girl. And you like, five two. Bro. bro. Yep. I was like, <laughs> You're Amazonian. I was like, you damn, there's no. Five- Oh man, bro, there's no way. <laughs> Maybe firing too. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was like, bro, there has to be no way, and like all the bro, it still feels like a conspiracy. Like yeah, I, I don't, I don't have- under, I don't understand the motive of the crime. Like, and if it's on some real male ego shit, I'm gonna be like, bro, come on now. Come on, bro. That way, I just want the full story. <laughs> bro, facts. I can I just wonder why they want to this nigga speak. Like, let this nigga speak because he locked up. Tell us your truth. There's a video of him screaming in a Burger King after the, he got out. Yeah, that nigga <laughs> did it four to three days ago, something like that. That nigga did it. Oh shit. So he's not gonna it. say shit like that's, now, that's it could be his name to the mud and he just ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> if he actually did do it, it could be edited. I don't know what that video meant, but hey, he's all I'm saying is if a nigga fresh out of jail screaming at a fast food restaurant, <laughs> that nigga guilty, bro. <laughs> Unless I mean, somebody was like antagonizing him. And yeah, they was like, you shot Megan. You shot Megan. Exactly. And then they was exactly like, what happened. Hey, you shoot. 
What what Dave Chappelle do? I ain't do it, nigga. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that's what it was, that's he crazy. did it, bro. He, uh, that's crazy. Well, I hope Megan is like she doesn't have too much PTSD from this. Like, bro, true. I heard no bones was broken, which is a miracle in itself to get shot twice in the foot. That's mostly bones and not have any bones broken. Well, she got shot in, in both feet individually. Both feet, bro. In both yeah. feet. That's crazy. One hell of a shot. Like. <laughs> 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 Nigga in the gun right shooting feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. And the jump over there, it's like all he can aim at his feet. It's like uh, he, he was trying to shoot up after he shot the feet. Like, ain't true. He can't. He can't do nothing else, or he get deported. <laughs> but I hope this WAP song is cool. Hey, Jake coming in. That's dope. Um, Jake is hey. another person, so he can come in whenever. And, and 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 when he comes in, we can transition into this conversation. Jake, how you doing, sir? Doing good, sir. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know. Uh, what's the intro I want to give you? Podcast extraordinaire. Uh, 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 uh <laughs> member, CC <laughs> member. Uh, boom, uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, a nice beer. Uh, casually haver. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome. We were just wrapping up um, Tory Lane shooting up at <laughs> shooting down at shooting down at the main. <laughs> he was shooting up, but he it hit down. What if he shot I'm her? Talking under about the shooting a shot. Did he though. say where That's he shot? What would he shot under her foot? That's so oh, weird. God. Yeah, like <laughs> I That's don't terrible. understand it. I I really don't like so situation is just so. And then the Kardashians have no words. The Kardashians have something to do with it. That's what the homie was saying. She was like, I don't trust Kylie. That shit happened right after they left her house. Da 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 da. Had to be on some coke. They just sunk in place to uh, uh, toy lanes. I missed it. Mom, what you say? I said, did they put uh, toy lanes in the sunken place and send them out there? That's for sure, bro. You over here talking about Kim Kardashian. I mean, that's what they got the power of. It's something in that box. Six <laughs> 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 nine. nine is out here. Um, he's being pulled. That's been like a, a hell, real life troll, though. He's real life troll. He, he is a troll. Is. He's troll. He's troll. Troll on war tour right now. He's he's seriously. He's he, I don't know what his purpose is. The music is not hitting. The the videos are hitting. If he's still editing mm-hmm. his videos, he can go on a behind the scenes thing of him just editing videos, shooting videos, because he's great at that. But I don't know. I can't support this. The shenanigans are crazy and entertaining, but I don't think this is going to end well for him. I don't wish him that. But I agree. Look good. It's too much. It's too soon. Too <laughs> it's a whole lot. He he and he's dug his own hole, man. Do you think he's like fuck it? I'm gonna die anyway. Type shit. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think that's why he's the way he is. Yeah. He's testing a lot of waters. Yeah, man. It's it's a it's a wild world we live in. Him him getting out that fast, and then Bobby not getting out that fast. But he should be getting out. Uh, should he be getting out soon? August seventh. Yeah. August seventeenth. He should be getting out. And uh, free Bobby, free Real Rowdy. I haven't heard much about him. Smart. But hopefully he is, or soon after. Uh, DJ Academic. Is, nice is he the only one getting out, or, or the rest of the squad getting out? I don't know. They just talking about Bobby, but he's the star, so I don't know. Um here's a homie question and a a social media uh, uh uh or a a blog question for Jacob or a podcast question, whatever you want to say. Okay. DJ Academics 
and the host of No Jumper, the Adam 22. Right. He, these two collided last night and were on live having words because at called him out for not being real because he was posting shit about his ex-girlfriend and even had his, his ex-girlfriend on his live and on his show. At rebuttaled with, hey, I had your girl on one time with you and you offered the uh, you, you offered her to fuck me and after y'all got serious, I took it down because you asked me to. Wow. Then when her Me Too allegations came out, I never talked about it, never posted it, but you seem to have my girlfriends on your show a lot. But X said that in a very drunk and belligerent way. So it's a lot of... <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> yelling, yelling, yelling. So... Jacob, and to all the rest of you, is there a media integrity to report on things, even if they're close to you, or to keep it to the cuff? Hmm. Good question. That is a very good question. Because in some cases, some people don't believe in that particular integrity. The story is the story. And some shit is just too big not to report on. But you don't have to have a baby mama on there or a girlfriend or ex girlfriend on there talking about me. Yeah. Shit like Stephen mm-hmm. A. Smith. If I'm going to talk about you, I'm going to come talk to you first. Mm. Mm. Facts. I like that. Fuck, I respect back. that. You yeah, because mm-hmm. you like come out of the blue with it, like you know what kind of uh, repercussions it will come from. Just like putting people's info out there that many people need to know at the same time, but like. Oh, it's like, bro, I got to report yeah. on can't not mm-hmm. say everybody else is saying something. I can't yeah. not say I'm about to shoot at you. Yeah. I, hey, you're actually shooting at me. So if you post about me again, I'm going to bring up your girlfriend getting a train ran on her by five dudes. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, he kept saying that very overtly mm-hmm. and loudly and drunken <laughs> off the Hennessy Lee. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Adam stayed pretty cool, but he but he kept saying like, "Bro, I only talked to her about you for like two minutes," and I was like, "No, two minutes t- too much." So I see both sides. I do I too. Sides, yeah, but Ag, but Ag didn't bring it off as uh, <laughs> well thought thought he should have. Yeah, mm. but I've been in that predicament. Spreading too much information on the podcast, where I'm like, all right, well, gotta yeah. will it back. <laughs> Act a little bit too many stories. I actually posted our uh, fourth episode ever on our story. Uh, 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 it was medium dick and a smile. That might My be smile. the name. That might be the name. Yeah, you said what? You said what number was that again? The number, the number four. four. four man. That was early days. Okay, we were still in the attic. <laughs> I was listening to that actually yesterday. Or were you? Hell yeah, yeah, I was. Hell yeah! How did you? Like every time it? you post it, every time you post those, I always tune in because you know I, I haven't listened to every episode y'all had. So yeah, those are like like the old Ooh. old Our icons before we where we got where we at right now. I mean, <laughs> those are early days for y'all. So yeah, yeah. Those are before we turned into an interview-based show. Those mm-hmm. that first season is all stories and people that we had parties with coming on and talking about stories and. Hey, but that's yeah. cool though. Basically, too. we cleaned it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a lot. Because because of, what? Y'all, y'all, y'all involved. <laughs> that's what y'all did. <laughs> because of, we were spreading too much information and girls at the time wasn't feeling what we were talking about and they were listening <laughs> <real hard. laughs> everybody can hear oh, this man. and that I'm like oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it was fun that first season was a lot <laughs> oh, shit, nigga. but I say all that to say this um 2020 is wild and I thought I was gonna do a lot more shit in 2020 I thought I was gonna do a lot more live shows I thought I was gonna do I, was, I had to man, free yeah, it was so much potential for this goddamn year for it to just fall into the first, nothingness and chaos. The first <laughs> back, maybe back. 10 years I haven't worked third shifts. There's no light. There's no, not, <laughs> nightlife. <or concert laughs> no nightlife. 
no fucking uh, 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 you can't do shit. No movies. I can't. It's nothing to do at night. It's nothing to do at night at all. I mean, if you think about it, bro, this is low key. Like, if you think about the silver lining of all of this, it's low key a reset. Cause yes. hopefully True. this country gets its shit together, and when it does, shit may be way more lit than it was prior to. Oh, bro! It better be e- wow. either <laughs> either that or shit's gonna be mad like disgustingly lame and you're gonna have to <laughs> really find some shit to do because uh, as in I, leave the damn country <laughs> yeah like i just started going out like i just started going out like maybe a year and a half ago because yeah. i wasn't really a big partier i came from a party college and so like club life wasn't the same as parties on, on campus and no, so no, when no, I hit the when I hit not. the club, I was like, "Yeah, this is cool. If I go with like me and a group of friends, we can have fun." But the environment was trash. Yeah. So hopefully, this is what I'm hoping: people stop being wallflowers and wallflies, and yeah, actually right. like people, yeah, actually have fun, conversate and meet people and yes. dance. Because <laughs> I like for to real, dance for real, for real. Being able to dance and to talk to somebody face to face again, like yeah. You know, Mm-hmm. Yeah, the human interaction, man. Just having yeah. that. A dap up. You know how long dap ups were getting? This was a recent. Oh my god! So long. Niggas was here <laughs> for like ninety <laughs> seconds. I ain't gonna lie. You were sitting like little somewhere. cold in messages. Why right, right <laughs> with the dap up? You was like, "Hey, yo, right we gonna meet up right you. after this." Draw <laughs> 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 out your palms. <laughs> Corona had the same daps. <laughs> they were incredibly too long and elaborate and too much hand touching. You might as well just hold hands with your best friend. <laughs> For real though. Like, <laughs> might as well. Hold hands for 90 seconds in because that's what Yo. we do. <laughs> oh, um, that's just low key what they did. They even locked up fingers and shit and they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> they kissed it together. <laughs> <laughs> a little up in the air. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Jeez. Uh, anything else y'all want to talk about in the world? In, in like America's and anything? I want to talk about that YouTube video about the dude. I don't know. Okay. So I, I am an avid person of psychedelics right i don't do them often but i'm at, like i advocate yeah. that people should do this yes. and the other day i sent in a group chat this video mm-hmm. that comedy central does they have this series called uh tales from the trip <laughs> and yes. this dude this dude basically was talking about his dmt trip and how he wishes he had a sign to know that it's just not all in his head And so when he set up his friend to do it, he didn't tell him anything about it. His friend took hella hits and he pretty much went to the DMT trip like it should be. And he started talking to dude and dude basically was in the trip talking about, oh, they love you here. And the story that he told prior is the (laughs) same story that his friend was telling him while he was tripping. Yeah. And I just bring that yeah. up to say this. <laughs> I, I've I've always thought about like how life can be different or how like energy is never destroyed but only transferred and like what happens after death. Like the idea of not knowing what happens after death was a thing that kind of made me afraid of dying. But mm. I I realized that so like the process of death isn't that scary. But not knowing is still like, damn, what the fuck I would like to know. But I don't want to know that bad. And so <laughs> when dude yeah. basically said what his homie was telling him was what he experienced, it made me think about the actual realization of what reality is and like how there are different realities. Yeah. Not just like this and then you sleep and then you're like on drugs but like 
it's actually different realities. And I just want to, yeah, and I just wanted to ask y'all, how do y'all feel about the idea of like different dimensions and different realities? And do you do you think they exist? Because that that video right. alone is like confirmation that this shit exists to me. So um like i don't know i don't really talk about my dreams a lot because you said sleeping so i will like dive into that a little bit um there was a point in time in college where like i was literally like not me in my dreams like i would go to sleep and wake up as somebody else i would be doing other shit i'd be able to feel smell taste and be this other person in this other dimension but as soon as i wake up i'm like back on campus in my bed like getting ready for class the next day but then when i go back to sleep it happened like three nights in a row wild as shit happened in that dream but like it's definitely it definitely like made me think like is my brain like am i really like going somewhere am i just i'm not just here like i can't be feeling and experiencing all these things and remembering them like they actually happened because maybe they did actually happen but it's like yeah. i don't know it's, it's a trippy type of thing <laughs> See, oh, okay, here's a, a little stoner uh, uh, nugget right here. Right. Smoking before sleep, it makes you, you it, I don't get deep dreams. Like, you don't get what dreams? I don't get like fully deep, vivid dreams. Like, mm. they're either like pieced here and then like in and out of sleep, or like I don't remember them at, at all. But, when I do a sobriety like month or something like that, my dreams are super vivid, like like intense and powerful, like can bring me out my sleep type of intense or something like that. So the try eating some mango and smoke mm, and go to sleep. Like mango? just regularly? Yeah. All right. And what you guys do? Just <laughs> mango. Right I tend to remember my dreams when I do that. Hmm. Oh, okay. Because I'm nothing like that. Like, like mine is I can go, I can have a vivid dream, smoke, go sleep, whatever. But my problem is, is when I'm like really exhausted, like do a lot of work that day, get probably like four hours of sleep, come back, do a real or do a whole bunch of work that next day, and then have like a whole real sleep. Apparently, my brain don't shut off. I can, I can remember shit in the past when I was younger and and repeat them verbatim. Then, then on some bullshit, I swear to God, bro, I think I'll be reading the future. There's some shit to be happening, and and I'll be in the moment. I'm like, no, this can't be real. I stop. I stop everything. No, I mean, that day's a bullshit. Yeah, this that day's a bullshit. Can't be real, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. No, you've said that a lot of times of me knowing you like like you've seen this shit or you've done this shit before. Bruh, it just it's just creepy as fuck. Like, like to happened. know what? I had that dream times? and it's just like you're the middle those, of right now. We have done that exact same thing you're saying that we you've done before. So half those times I discredit you. But I should have done because <laughs> everybody's experience is their experience. I learned that okay. now. That's new right there for me. <laughs> also Doing acid and um, shrooms and all that, it enhances. It gives you a a um, a understanding of the power of chemicals. Uh-huh. Yes. And, yep. and how adding a chemical to yourself can change your whole perception of everything around you. So, yep. if 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 a tablet of acid can do that to you. Who knows what a full a, a, a full bloodstream or a month one DMT would do? It might yeah. put you to a a a a a, 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 a month, month for a thousand years or something like that. You know. See, my yeah. thing with that, I was thinking about like, well, I don't I don't know how much DMT like people take on a regular basis, and I don't know how much it takes to overdose. But I always think about like. What if when you take it, you take, I guess, too much or whatever, and then get stuck there? Like, what is Ooh, that like? Like, like would that be death for real? And then you're just in this world and you have no way back to the to there's, your physical reality in which we exist in? Like, that's, 
That's it's wow. that's the shit that scares me to not want to try it. Wow. Because it's like that's a hell of a I don't I don't know what's over there. I all I know is this. Yeah. I've touched and seen past this a little bit when I took shrooms, but I don't know what's over there. So me doing it and then going over there and then not being able to come back is like going to a foreign country, get lost in the whatever local life there is and being not being able to come back to my home and my bed. That's the way I think Ooh. about it. That's and true. it's like, I don't, I don't know if I want to risk it. I would I mean, like to experience it. I don't know if I want to risk it, me personally. It's like, is your thirst for knowledge worth the risk? Is what you're asking yourself. Like, mm-hmm. is your curiosity? You really know and as of right now, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to know either, man. That's too crazy. Clip. I feel this. like one day I might get there, but I don't know. I mean, a lot of people I've heard do it. I heard a lot of people do it just for like a life changing moment, like a sign. Yes, that is true. Yeah, it's actually, I'm trying to I'm give you to do a suggestion. Right. On, like, there's a DMT movie where they take like a medical experiment and they take like five people and they give them DMT through their um like like an IV or something like that and they go into like this sleep state and they all have the same dream state visions and shit like that why yeah, it- the uh, the thing that i've heard about like people's experiences on DMT like every literally every person's experience was the same there's mm-hmm. always something about a orb there's always something about fractals there's always something about this long hallway and then as of lately when people have been talking about taking it and like when they do it, doing like taking a hit three times, that's when you transfer into the other place. So it's like every, every time prior to, I guess me watching uh, tales from the trip, I've only heard about like the fractals in the hallway. But after hearing about tales from the trip, everybody was like, Oh yeah, there's this light source or this orb. And there are these beings and these creatures that you basically are living life in this other place is pretty mm-hmm. much what it is. And so, yeah, man, that that's the thing prior to the dude saying, yeah, my friend told me my trip while he was tripping. Prior to it, I was like, yeah, this has to be some type of thing that's connected. And yeah. outside of that, that's it's like... Plan. We we use DMT when we sleep and we dream. DMT is found in damn near everything on this planet. It's just that this is like a really focused uh, quantity of it, and it's being used for a specific thing. So that yeah. I don't know, man. It's but I'm gonna watch the thing. You got to text it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like it. It's definitely been on my list of building up towards. I feel like I've. I've done the acid. I done the acid first before I did shrooms. I, I don't see that. That's the yeah, you you went out of order. <laughs> just <I did>. <laughs> it, it just made me realize how to respect shrooms more, though, because I was like, "Oh, y'all can get powerful." Okay, let me let me take this easy and not go overboard. Now the acid, I was like, "I don't know, huh? I need another one, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what happened to Ben Stiller. I just watched uh, Have a Good Trip Doc on Netflix, and he was like, I shouldn't have done this, but I was with my friend and we were younger, and I took it. An hour and a half went by, and nothing happened. And as soon as I took the second one, everything it changed. It kicked <laughs> in. Oh, it, just, it, it happened like, it's like your brain is almost saying, like, <laughs> yeah, it completely fucking tricks you. Yeah, it just says, it's fuck like you. that tweet. It's like that tweet where they was like, "You gotta say this edible ain't shit to get it activated." Yeah, <laughs> I don't feel anything. Bro. I'm thinking I want to do some like some trippy shit. Now. I might go try to find some shrooms for the weekend or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on in life. Uh, the way we like to wrap up the show is we like to go around and say what we're reading, watching, and listening to. Um, I'm gonna start with Sean Carter. What are you reading? Really well, I'm my first day thing. You go out here showing your ass for OnlyFans. Don't think I ain't see that. I know you got an OnlyFans now. This thing is showing this. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit. All right, fine. Um <laughs> reading um mangas, mangas and uh web comics, that's about it. Just at random. I don't really know what I'm reading half the time. Just pick some, start reading it, they keep it, keep my attention, I keep it. If not, move on to the next one. Uh okay. watching Still finishing Nosferatu, the new season. Episodes are slowly coming out. Um, thinking about starting Doom Patrol. And, uh, yeah, not watching too much. And listening to uh, Remy Wolf still. Still listening to Remy Wolf. And, um, yeah, whatever the hell I decide to create in this oasis of mine because uh, I've been really into these keys over here. So, <laughs> That's what's up. That is what's up. Jacob, what are you reading, watching, or listening to, sir? Uh, reading? I haven't done much. I haven't done much reading. I haven't had time for it, but I'm, I need to get back on that. Watching? I've been watching Unsolved Mysteries on fucking Netflix. That shit is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> solid. Solid. Very solid. Yeah. And listening? Uh, the, I listen to everything. Like today, I've been listening to like a bunch of like oldies, but like I recently was re listening to uh, Swimming's by Mac Miller again because of the two year anniversary. Okay. And I just forgot Ooh. how beautiful that album is. So I'm just waiting for no- more new music to come out. It's coming. They said it's coming. New Mac Miller, new album set. Wow. Yeah, supposedly they're working on new projects. So let's see about that. I know he had a lot of unreleased music, so. Right. Hopefully we get the uh, him and Pharrell joint, the Pink Slime. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. man. That, I, I think everyone's been waiting for that. I love to hear that. So, so long. Yes. Somewhere there. <laughs> Reading, watching, listening to, sir. Man, uh, I've been... I've been slowly, like, super slowly reading uh, Our Prisons Obsolete by Angela Davis. Okay. I, uh, I'm a part of No Names Book Club, and so <laughs> I I honestly <laughs> did it just nice. I honestly just no did way. it to give her money because yes. I thought it would be important. And then after all of the books and PDF folders that were coming in after the George Floyd murder, I was like, let's see what's in these folders. And then I was like, oh yeah, this is in No Names Book Club, so I'll read this. Okay. I've been reading it for like right. two months. I just got to chapter two, but I'm mm-hmm. reading. It's a pretty hey, easy. Time, my brother, take your it's, time. Not, it's a pretty it's easy a read, though. It's not a race. It's yeah. about the. Yeah, it's a pretty easy read, though. So if anybody need that or want it, PDF, I got you. How did you feel about um, King Colors? I know that's been a big. Um, so I was going to bring that up. I was, yeah. I was, before we talk about that. I'll also say uh, I've been watching Midnight Gospel, Netflix. Check it out if you haven't. Yeah. Really great cartoon. Back to Hidden Color. Bro, I was, I've was i been talking to you about this, and I've been watching and talking to my mom and my friends about this. All right. I've come to the realization that if, for, if I've seen this four years ago, I would be so skeptical about all the information that I'm seeing. However, literally every day since the month before I watched it up until even yesterday, something that was said in the doc came out on Twitter with like resources or something that was on Twitter or wherever I seen it that had resources was said in the doc. So like at this point, I'm I'm literally and I've, I had this realization the other day, I'm literally fighting with myself. Like, and like everything that I've learned to understand and not be hesitant to this information because time and time again, it's been true. Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, why am I, why am I doubting this information? And unless you're really brainwashed. Yes. (laughs) Yes. And that's what I was, Mm -hmm. and that's the thing. I was like, the, and and the thing I I understood why I had the realization, the way they present the information is like opinion with facts and no like, uh, 
viable viable resources like link to the thing so every time they say something i have to pause it look it up see if i can find anything and every time i have and it's like damn like this information is very it's literally hidden like i i didn't know half the shit or even three-fourths of the shit that's in there and it's crazy it's crazy how much like it's too much information it's too and much information. there's five parts and they're all two and a half hours and i'm just like it's like i have to take a break like you learned too much shit. I mean, bro so like, it's like bro, it melts my head the, the, the curtain it just it gets you right it's <laughs> and completely it's, yeah, I've been and saying that. Look at shit, leave, but like, you know, I'd be saying that every day, bro. Program. It's like the the veil of reality is just melting away. Whether it's that information, whether it's the pandemic, whether it's you know people being murdered, like the veil of reality is just trafficking is going away. It's, it's that shit so is crazy, scary. and that like the the amount of things that I know now because of this doc and just because of like stuff that's just coming to light it's like it's it's insane it's it's Here's so much share with people you do tell them do, do, do ask them this question what happened before slavery yeah and, he's like, and they'll be like huh my like, what were we doing before slavery and why don't we know it this is my question that the doc hasn't answered yet. And I don't know if it will because I'm I'm watching two. I went out of order. I went one, three, two because the two wasn't working the day I found it. But okay. what what happened to the point where we were able to be, I guess, overthrown or whatever? Like what dismantled us? That's what I want to know at this point. Because literally they're like, we were kings and queens. We helped damn near everybody. Side note, if Morris didn't help white people, we probably wouldn't be in this situation. Uh that's what the that's what the uh the the, uh, the hotel brothers be saying, like, man, the Moors ain't shit, man. The Moors is really good. <laughs> Bro, but like they like the amount of information and stuff that we know that we know right now being sourced back to anything that's black. Is, mm-hmm. And not even like black as an Afri- African American, black as in like our DNA, like us, anybody from the Caribbean, anybody from Africa, anybody from anybody literally the middle. And- yes, all of us is sourced from us, and we are the source. And that's like I had an inkling about that, and then the thing about. Um, Lupita coming up on Twitter where they were like, oh yeah, you have the Eve mitochondria or whatever it is. And it's like the the only uh, DNA source that's found in humans is traceable back to before race and it's only in black women and they are the reasons why life exists on this planet, pretty much. Uh, and it's because of this one cell. And so when I seen that, I was on Twitter geeked. I was like, bro, the black woman is God. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't tell me nothing. I don't want to ever hear no disrespect about me, about black women, nothing. I don't want to ever hear it again. And so, like, just like watching Hidden Colors, all of this information coming up, it just makes me question is like, why, why is it I can't, why is it that I find this skeptical? And I and I like I was trying to say earlier, I realized why. It's because like the information doesn't have reputable sources, but it's like Oh, oh, not to quote Dr. Umar, but it's like he said, why do you need white man's paperwork? And it's yeah. so true. It's yeah. so wild. Yeah, like, why do we got to find it in the Webster's Dictionary? Why can't it be Frank's? Yeah, or you know, <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> to believe it. King Mo, yeah. reading, watching, listening to, sir. Uh, Watching, I am watching the uh, Umbrella Man 2 and the Umbrella. second season. The Umbrella, Umbrella Academy. The Umbrella Corporation. Whatever. Shit. Yeah, whatever the fuck <laughs> it's called. I'm watching that shit. And then I'm watch- watching this. I gotta watch this first season of still. I ain't like it. It's it's cool. It's all right. Like I, don't, it. I ain't finished the second the season. The boys is better. And uh uh, uh I just finished what, the boys. The Doom Patrol is better. Oh yeah, the boys. Is better. That's a good one. Is the boys it. second season out? I, I like gotta the watch it. Mm. 
but as far as Doom Patrol, Doom Patrol reminds me of this shit, actually. It's yeah, not that but, far off. This Doom Patrol is more campy. I like the, the fact that it's less... You, you, like, um, you like Doom Patrol because you're fami- more familiar with it and the characters. I don't, I don't think so, because, like, the characters, um, the, the actors in uh, uh, the Umbrella Corporation, I've seen before, so I'm more connected to them because of the actors, but then Doom Patrol mm-hmm. is... DC and his Brendan Fraser, so I don't know. I don't know. I think it get better. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, and then I'm watching this uh, MMA um, shit that's on Netflix, too, with one of the Jonas Brothers in it. It's like Freedom <laughs> King or some shit like that. It's just random respect that he's in it, though, but it's real good. It's real, it's real, real good. Giving everybody jobs, huh? <laughs> well, it came out in 2017. I ain't know all that, but it's it good, though. All right. Well, listening and reading, you know, whatever comes up. Pretty much <laughs> um, I am watching the Trailer Park Boys animated series. Uh, I've never random. seen a single thing of that film, man. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be real with you. The trailer park boys is like liking tomatoes and onions. You got to an age, you're like, you're like, oh, I didn't know I like vegetables on everything. Now, okay, cool. <laughs> and you're like, bro, I didn't think this shit was funny. Okay, this shit is funny, and it's a, it's Canadian humor. It, <laughs> I don't know. Watch it. Watch like the <laughs> you say that. I, I don't know. Bacon. I'm always is that racist. Huh? You thought of what? So you said I thought of bacon. Is that racist? I, I always thought that show was like racist <laughs> or bacon. something, man. I don't know. No, it's not racist. Bacon. Bacon. Black people. It's tra- it's it's trailer. It's trailer part. So you get a mix of everything. So you get some. White, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was like Larry the Cable Guy now. <laughs> That's what I thought when I heard I mean, the title. It, it, it's a it's a similar probably crowd that likes the same of it, <laughs> but it's it's the silliness of like the office or like community or something like that. It's like one of those type. Oh, this okay. is silly mm-hmm. going on right here. But it's mm-hmm. funny. It's a lot of seasons. I'm watching an animated series of that. Um, so I'm listening. Listening. <laughs> to Mafia Business by Shoreline Mafia. Uh, they broke up, so this is their last first album. Damn. Damn. The last wow. first That was album. fast. <laughs> Shoreline <laughs> Mafia. I thought there was thing. like, I thought it was like 50 of them, though. It was, and they all left the group. Damn. Mm. All 50 of them? All yeah, 50. I guess so. I'm a break. God Nick- damn. You can't have these niggas doing one thing. Uh, <laughs> reading anything, but I would like to read something soon. I keep bullshitting. I don't know what to read. I need something that's going to keep my attention and feed my brain, but I'm looking for it. So I'm speaking into existence. There's nothing out there. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I need something like that. <laughs> no books are stupid. Books are stupid. Bro. Um, thank y'all for coming, bro. This is not color radio. I am Juice mm-hmm. King Maul. Thank you, Cliff. Christian. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, S. Dot. Temple God. Gang, Those gang. Movies. This is another great one. We're out of here. Yeah, yeah. Give me a minute.